असलम फ्रेंड्स हावर यू ऑल एंड वर्ट्स गोइंग ऑन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड माई न्यू वीडियो आई होप दैट यू वर लाइक दिस सो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो गिव अ बिग थम्स अप एंड ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू गेट मोर वीडियोज लाइक दिस सो गाइज टूडे वे आर गन स्टडी मैथमेटिक्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट फ्रेंड्स देर आर नाइन चैप्टर्स विच वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दिस सब्जेक्ट इन दिस चैनल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फर्स्ट फोर टॉपिक्स ऑफ चैप्टर वन these are number and language accuracy calculations and order integers fractions decimals and percentages first of all number and language in this topic we are learning about vocabulary for sets of numbers natural numbers integers multiples rational numbers irrational numbers square numbers cube numbers factors real numbers prime numbers reciprocal prime factors highest common factor square root using a graph cube root further powers and roots and directed numbers these looks too much but don't worry these are just a piece of cake maybe you have learned these before as well vocabulary for sets of numbers a square can be classified in many different ways it is a quadrilateral but it is also a polygon and a two dimensional shape just as shapes can be classified in many ways numbers are also Some common types of numbers are shown ahead. Natural numbers are counting numbers or whole numbers including zero. A good example of integers is temperature. For example, minus 1, minus 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. 3. Every natural number is an integer. Rational numbers. All rational numbers can be written as a fraction whose denominator is not zero. All terminating and recurring decimals are rational numbers as they can also be written as a fraction. Irrational numbers. They cannot be expressed as a fraction as you can see in this diagram the length of hypotenuse AC using a Pythagoras rule can be calculated like this. So the answer do not recur or repeat in a pattern. The digits continue indefinitely never repeating themselves in a pattern a particular pattern. Real numbers. the set of re- rational and irrational numbers together form the set of real numbers prime numbers a prime number is one whose only factors are one and itself but one is not a prime number reciprocal the reciprocal of a number is obtained when one is divided by the number the reciprocal of 5 is 1 over 5 the reciprocal of 2 over 5 is 1 over 2 over 5 which simplifies to 5 over 2 square numbers 1 can be written as 1 multiplied by 1 or 1 raised to power 2 9 can be written as 3 multiplied by 3 or 3 raised to power 2 when an integer whole number is multiplied by itself the result is a square number the in the example above 1 and 9 are square numbers cube numbers when an integer is multiplied by itself and then by itself again the result is a cube number factors number that divides an other number evenly with no remainder are factors prime factors factors of 12 are 1 2 4 6 and 12 out of these 2 and 3 are prime numbers so these are prime factors of 12 highest common factor the prime factors of 12 are 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 the prime factors of 18 are 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 So the highest common factor HCF can be seen by inspection to be 2 multiplied by 3 example 6 multiples multiples of 5 are 5 10 15 20 etc the lowest common multiple LCM of 2 and 3 is 6 since 6 is the smallest number divisible by 2 and 3 the LCM of 3 and 5 is 15 the LCM of 6 and 10 is 30 square roots the square shown contains 16 squares it has sides of length 4 uh, units so the square root of 16 is 4 this can be written as square root of 16 equals to 4 note that 4 multiplied by 4 is 16 so 4 is the square root of 16 however minus 4 multiplied by minus 4 is also 16 so minus 4 is also the square root of 16 by convention minus uh, square root of 16 means the positive square root of 16 so square root of 16 equals to 4 but the square root of 16 is minus 4 uh, also plus 4 minus 16 has no square root since an integer squared is positive cube roots 
The cube shown has sides of 2 units and occupies 8 cubic units of space. This is written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. So the cube root of 8 is 2. This can be written as cube root of 8 equals to 2. Cube root of 64 is 4 since 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 equals to 64. Cube root of 64 is not minus 4 since minus 4 multiplied by minus 4 multiplied by minus 4 equals to minus 64. But cube root of minus 64 is minus 4. Further powers and roots. We have seen that the square of a number is the same as raising that number to the power of 2. For example, the square of 5 is written as 5 raised to power 2 means 5 multiplied by 5. Similarly, the cube of a number is the same as raising that number to the power of 3. For example, the cube of 5 is written as 5 raised to power 3 means 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. Numbers can be raised by other powers too. Therefore, 5 raised to power uh, of 6 can be written as 5 raised, to, uh, 5 raised to power 6 and means 5 multiplied by 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 5. Friends, this topic is done and now moving towards our next topic which is accuracy. Topic number 2, accuracy. Friends, in this topic we will learn about approximation, rounding, decimal places, significant figures, approximate accuracy, estimating answers to calculations, upper and lower bounds, calculating with upper and lower bounds. In many instances, exact numbers are not necessary or even desirable, then approximations are given. Some common types of approximation are listed ahead. If 28,617 people attended a gymnastic competition, this figure can be reported to a various levels of accuracy. In this type of situation, it is unlikely to the uh, it is unlikely that the exact number would be reported. Suppose that you are going to your friend's house, which is 10 km from your house, and you have traveled 4 km and suddenly the rain falls. You will decide to go back to your house. But if uh, you have traveled 6 km and suddenly the rain falls, you will decide to go to your friend's house because you have traveled um, uh, more distance. But if you have traveled uh, 5 km, uh, then you will decide to go to your friend's house and the reason you know very well. So just like this, numbers are also rounded. Decimal places. A number can be approximated to a given number of decimal places. This refers to the number of digits written after a decimal point. 7.864 is written as 7.9 to 1 decimal point. Numbers can also be approximated to a given number of significant figure. In the number 43.25, the 4 is the most sig uh, significant figure as it has the value of 40. In contrast, the 5 is the least significant as it only has the value of 500. Approximate accuracy. Calculator produced answers are not whole number, it gives the answer to as many decimal places as will fit on its screen, but this is unnecessary, one decimal place is usually sufficient. There are two possibilities for 57 multiplied by 246. The one is 60 multiplied by 200 equals to 12,000 and the second is 50 multiplied by 250 equals to 12,500. Numbers can be written to different degrees of accuracy. 4.5 Numbers can be written to different Numbers can be written to different degrees of accuracy. For example, 4.5, 4.50 and 4.500. 4.45 up to but not including 4.55 would be rounded to 4.5. As an inequality where x represents the number, it would be expressed like this. In this, 4.45 is lower bound of 4.5 and 4.55 is upper bound. When numbers are written to a specific degree of accuracy, calculations involving those numbers also give a range of possible answers. Calculate the upper and lower bounds for the following calculation. Give that each number is given to the nearest whole number. 34 multiplied by 65. 34 lies in this range and 65 lies in this range. Lower bound is calculated by multiplying the two lower bounds together and the upper bound is calculated by multiplying the two upper bounds together. So guys, this topic is also done and now moving towards our next topic, calculations and order. Calculations and order. That's good that we are just learning about two things in this topic, ordering and the order of operations. 
The following symbols have a specific meaning in mathematics. Is equal to, is not equal to, is greater than, is greater than or equal to, is less than, is less than or equal to. X greater than or equal to 3, X can be 3, 4, 4.2, 5, etc. 3 less than or equal to X, X is still 3, 4, 4.2, etc. 5, le 5 greater than X can be written as X less than 5, X can be 4, 3.2, 3, 2.8 etc. Minus 7 less than or equal to x can be written as x greater than or equal to minus 7. x can be minus 7, minus 6, minus 5 and carry on. On number 9 this is shown like this. When carrying out calculations care must be taken to ensure that they are carried out in the correct order. 2 plus 3 multiplied by 4 equals to 14 but in bracket 2 plus 3 multiplied by 4 equals to 20. The reason why different answers are obtained is because, by convention, the operations have different priorities. These are as following. So guys, now only the last topic is left which is integers, fractions, decimals and percentages. So in this topic we are going to learn about fractions, decimals, percentages, the four rules, calculations with fractions, changing a fraction to a decimal, changing a decimal to a fraction, recurring decimals, changing a recurring decimal to, into a fraction. A single unit can be broken into equal parts called fraction. For example, the unit is broken into 10 equal parts and 3 parts are then taken. The fraction is written as 3 over 10. This is 3 parts out of 10 parts. The 3 is called the numerator and 10 is called the denominator. A proper fraction has its numerator less than its denominator. An improper fraction has its numerator more than its denominator. Another name for improper fraction is vulgar fraction. Whole number plus proper fraction equals to mixed number. Here comes the question, find 1 over 35 of 35, means divide 35 into 5 equal parts. So the answer is 1 over 35 of 35 is 35 divided by 5 equals to 7. Another question is change 3 whole 5 by 8 into an improper fraction. You will find the answer by, multiply, uh, by multiplying denominator with whole number then add the numerator into the answer. 3.27 is 3 units, 2 tenths and 7 hundredths. 3.27 equals to 3 plus 2 over 10 uh, plus 7 over 100. 0.038 is 3 hundredths and 8 thousandths. 0.038 equals to 3 over 100 plus 8 over 1000. 2 tenths and 7 hundredths equals to 27 hundredths. 3 hundredths and 8 thousandths equals to 38 thousandths. Fraction with 100 as a denominator can be expressed as a percentage. Example 29 over 100 can be written as 29%. Using equivalent fractions to change the denominator to 100, other fractions can be written as percentages. The four rules are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Calculations with fractions. When carrying out calculations involving fractions, it is usual to give your answer in its simplest form or less term. Example 1 by 2 is the simplest form of 2 over 4. For fractions to be either added or subtracted, the denominators need to be same. If they are not same, take the LCM first and make them same. The reciprocal of a number is obtained when 1 is divided by that number. Therefore, the reciprocal of 5 is 1 over 5 and the reciprocal of 2 over 5 is 5 over 2, and so on. Dividing one fraction by another gives the same result as multiplying by the reciprocal. Changing a fraction to a decimal is done by dividing the numerator by the denominator. Changing a decimal to a fraction. 0.45 from a decimal to a fraction. So 0.45 is therefore equivalent to 4 tenths and 5 hundredths. 0 is units, 4 is tenths, 5 is hundredths and the total is 45 hundredths. Therefore 0.45 equals to 45 over 100 and the simplest form is 9 over 20. And a recurring decimal can be written as a fraction as a recurring decimal is also a rational number. Changing a recurring decimal to a fraction. A recurring decimal is one in which the numbers after the decimal point repeat themselves independently. A recurring decimal 0.4 to a fraction. So the process is let the x 0.4. Then 10x equals to 4.4. Subtracting x from 10x gives 9x equals to 4. So uh, by solving it, x um, uh, equals to 4 over 9. So 0 0.4 recurring decimal equals to 4 over 9. So friends, we have completed the first four topics in this video and now we will do the next three topics in our next video.
Make sure to like, share and subscribe this video and also press the bell icon so you will receive all the notifications of my uploads. See you in next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.